the European Banking Authority has published the final methodology, draft templates and template guidance for the 2021 EU-wide stress test along with the key milestone of the exercise. This is carried out on the basis of year-end 2020 figures and the scenarios will be applied over a period of three years from end 2021 to end 2023. The objective of the EU-wide stress test is to provide supervisors, banks and other market participants with a common analytical framework to consistently compare and assess the resilience of EU banks and the EU banking system to stocks and to challenge to capital positions of EU banks. The exercise is based on a common methodology, internally consistent and relevant scenarios and a set of templates that capture starting point data and stress test results to allow rigorous assessment of the banks in the sample. In March 2020, the EBA decided to postpone the EU-wide stress test exercise to 2021 to allow banks to focus on and ensure continuity of their core operations, including support for the customers. The methodology and templates include some target changes compared to the postponed 2020 exercise, such as the recognition of FXFX for certain PL items and the treatment of moratoria and public warranties in relation to the current COVID-19 crisis. The participating EU banks will be 49 as in 2018 and must have a minimum of 30 billion euros in assets to be included on the list. The set of risks that banks are required to stress are credit risk, market risk, counterparty credit risk and credit valuation adjustment and operational risk. The stress test exercise will be launched in January 2021 with the publication of the macroeconomic scenarios and the results published by 31 July 2021.